Hey guys, this is Pharaoh2091, and welcome back to Let's Play Apollo Justice, Ace Attorney. That's when we left off, we were really getting to Daryad now about... It could be possibly him who killed Mr. Latus just because, um... It seems that Daryad could have been involved in cocoon smuggling. So, and it could have, it could have went bad, and so that's why he had to kill him and get rid of the cocoons at it. So right now we're trying to determine who could be his accomplice then. Because there's no way he could do it by himself because he never, he's never been to Virginia. Well, it's actually very easy to think about if you actually put two and two together. This person would have to be on stage because he was using a transmitter. He was obviously talking to somebody. And he's telling them, push the switch now to get rid of the evidence of the cocoons, you know, inside a guitar. Well, remember, we found that trigger inside the piano. And once that trigger is pushed, the igniter would, you know, light up and burn a guitar. Now, who out of everybody we know plays the guitar? I mean, plays the uh, piano. That's right. And why else do you think he didn't want to go back to Virginia? There you go. There's only one person who meets all the requirements of the accomplice. And that person is offended, Maki Tobey. But, but Mr. Justice, he's your client. A def a defense attorney accusing his own client? <laughs> oh, that's a new one. I assure you, no one is more unhappy about this than I am. But I am here to defend him in the murder of Mr. Latouse. And I stand by my statement earlier that he's innocent of that particular crime. Indeed, the defendant is Virginian. He does meet the basic requirements to be the accomplice. But what if it was, in fact, Lemuar? It couldn't have been. Well, you seem sure of it yourself. The reason? It's electronic signals, Your Honor. Electronic signals? Recall that this remote, remote only works up to a range of 30 feet. Beyond that, it's useless. Hmm. Yes, it's true. Now, think back to the testimony. When the shooter made his transmission, Lemuar was in the air vent right above the dressing room where the shooter stood. Let's look at the stage diagram. This is the area the remote could reach from the air vent. See, pretty big range there. Well, looking at this, it seems that Lemuar still could have done the deed. No. When the shooter made that transmission, the stage was slightly different than shown here. It was in the middle of the guitar serenade. Part of the stage was raised. The prosecutor gave him Lamy over blah blah. They were on the tower when it happens to be 15 feet tall. In other words, the remote couldn't have worked from Lamyor's position in the air vent. Duh! Well, Dr. Crescent, what do you have to say to that? Your Honor. Yes, Detective? Can we see the video where Gavin's guitars gave his guitar burns? Just one more time. Uh, well, uh, well, I don't see why not. What? Don't tell me he has a way out of this. What the hell is he going to do here? Huh. Wait. Wait a minute. Did you guys notice that? I never saw that before. <laughs> oh, it's too bad. So sad. Punk. Punk. First you were sleeves, then kid, now punk. You're losing rank fast, Apollo. What exactly were we supposed to see in this video? The problem isn't what we see. Correct, Darion? Right. That's what you hear. We we are musicians after all. Wait, I saw like a spark in, in inside a guitar. That's that's what I thought I was looking at. Maybe I'm just wrong here. Care to explain for us non-musicians? Sure thing, punk. Let me get your let me get your yarn straight first. You're saying I ordered a wee pianist to set off that igniter? That right? Yes. Well, in order to do that, he'd been he'd have to have to press the switch. Am I right? Okay. Well. Take another listen. Pay attention to the piano. Piano? Oh, maybe I wasn't paying attention here. I'm 
I'm... Ha. Uh, what seems to be the problem there? This piano sounded just fine. And that's the problem! Man, you still don't get it? Ah! Uh, I think I know what he's getting at. Yeah. How's he supposed to hit that switch if he's playing? You've got Miss Diva, the guitar, the bass, the piano, and the drums. The only one of her hands free was the Diva. Them you are. But according to you, she couldn't have been the accomplice, could she? Uh, your accomplice would have had a hard time helping out if they couldn't even press a switch. Ah, uh, uh. oh, damn me, yeah, I didn't hear anything wrong there. This is gonna suck. I don't hear anything. The piano plays non stop. Yeah. And there is a spark going on there, but the piano was still playing fine when he pressed it, when the trigger was supposedly activated then. He couldn't have pressed that switch. Well, Mr. Justice. The piano does seem to be playing when the guitar catches fire. Well, it's okay. We all make mistakes sometimes. Apollo, were you were you wrong? I can't be wrong. Everything makes perfect sense. How could it all just strange? What strange? No, it's just something's odd about the performance there. Odd. Mr. Justice, if Maki Tobei didn't, didn't press that switch, then he could not be the accomplice you claim he is. But everything points to it. Every fact says that he's the accomplice. You got the facts wrong, man. Here's some facts for you. Gavin's guitar is on fire, but the pianist didn't press that switch. In other words, your story is full of holes. Mr. Justice, let's hear your final opinion on this matter now. Was the defendant, Maki Tobei, the accomplice? Your answer will reflect on everything you've said here. Give us some thought. Apollo, if Maki's not the accomplice, then our whole case is ruined. I know that. It has to be him. He was the only one who could help, help the smuggler. He had to press that switch. Well, you better find a way to prove it. Ah! What do I do? What do I do? Oh, there has to be something that doesn't fit. Something odd. Something odd. Wait a second. What? You thought of something? What was Gavin saying just now? Yes, something about the performance was odd. It's not much to go on, but it's all I've got. What exactly did he did he hear that was odd? Have you come up with something, Mr. Justice? May I remind you, you are you remind you that everything rests on this. Can you prove Makito Bay pressed that switch? Let's hear your final answer. Can you prove that Makito Bay pressed that switch? Well, y you know what? I got a hunch I can go on. I'm not sure if I can prove it, but we have to go with this hunch because if we don't, then we're screwed anyway. So, okay, let's see if we can let's see if we can prove it. I don't know if you're called this proof per se, but I can prove it. It was possible. Then, as prosecutor, it falls it falls to me to ask you to show us evidence supporting this. Air forehead, you sure about this? Ha! Accept it. There's no evidence, man. Let's see your evidence, Mr. Justice. On what do you base your claim that the defendant pressed that switch? Now, if you once again. It all comes to sound. A lot of this test of this case has been revolved around sound. So we once again need to figure out if we can isolate some tracks here. Cause possibly we may hear something that's odd about the performance. The basis for my claim is music, Your Honor. Music? What about music? Let's listen to the piano part around the time when the switch was to be pressed. Right before the guitar bursts into flame.
Hmm. I hear a piano being played. But doesn't it sound kind of simple? Simple? Ah, uh, I think I know what, what he's suggesting here. You think Maki could have been played that part with one hand? One hand? He only needed a one hand to press that switch. He could have played a piano with the other. Ha! <laughs> what, you're some kind of piano sur savant now? Or some, whatever? Um, actually, no. Then what do you know? You can't play a part like that with one hand. But maybe. I don't know what I'm talking about here. Wait, I know. Oh, that's Apollo. Hey, Trucy. Yeah? You got something? Mr. Wright, your father, he's a pianist. Could he? Oh, Daddy? He couldn't play a part like that even if he had three hands. So sorry. So sad for you. No. Not really. Huh? That was just an easy way to prove it. There's always a hard way. Man, how are you gonna prove what, whether he played a one hand or two? You can't! Admit it. I, I admit, it will be rather difficult to prove. But it's highly likely he was playing with one hand. How do you know that? The clues what prosecutor gave him described as sounding odd. What sounded odd? I'll bet we can tell by listening to a certain part of the song. No! No way! Well, it seems we've come to the moment of truth at last. Let's hear what Mr. Justice has to say for himself. Show us the part that proves the defendant was playing with one hand, right before the guitar burst into flame. Maki was definitely playing one hand just before the guitar got <coughs> caught fire. And one section of the song proves it. So, it's not... Okay, I'm pretty sure it's somewhere on the second part. So, let's... No, I don't want to do that. No. Can't I... Can't I play? Hmm. Let's see. Oh, I... I just... Mm. Is there a way I can just play the song? Let's see here. So, but track four was the, the piano, right? It does seem too simple. Huh. I don't know. I'm getting a little confused here. Hmm. I don't know. I, I kind of want to say it had to be in this part where he had to have played one-handed. If I can... Sorry, this is taking me forever, guys. I'm just trying to figure out how the hell to do this correctly. Yeah, it definitely sounds too simple. Okay, what about other parts of the song? I mean... Hmm... I don't know. What? I'm pretty sure that it's in this section where he must have been playing one-handed. Because that's... That's what we have to claim, anyway. That's where... That's the only time we could have pressed that switch, I'm assuming. That! That's the section? Hmm. I'm afraid I don't hear it. What's your opinion as an artist, Prosecutor Gavin? It's a beautiful song. And the lyrics are outstanding. I'll tell you that to me, there isn't a problem with the section at all. Wait, so what was the odd thing that Gavin heard it? The switch was pressed in the first half of the second verse, right? I know. I actually need to find a pl place to compare the two of that. Your Honor, if you'll give me one more chance, I think I can prove it. I suppose we don't have a choice. Very well. You claim the defendant was playing with one hand when the switch was pl played. It shows the part that proves it. Maki was definitely playing one hand just before. So I, I was wrong then. So is it here? Which section would it be? Let's try again. Yep. Hmm. I 
I really don't know now. Okay, well, comparing it to the first one, it definitely seems like... It... It seems like the second portion was way too simplistic compared to the first one, it seems like, to me, anyway. Prosecutor Gavin, I'm sure you realized by now just what it was that sounded odd to you. As I'm sure you've realized it yourself, Air Forehead. R realized what? I'll demonstrate. Let's listen to the part in question again, shall we? Pay particular attention to that to the but a feeling but a fleeting melody phase phrase. Okay. Alright. Man, man, man. How many times do we have to listen to the same thing? You're right. Enough of that. Let's listen to another section, shall we? Another section? The guitar bursts into flame at the end of the second verse. Let's listen to the same spot in the first verse. Pay attention to Oh That Night in Your Embrace. Alright, let's pay attention then. Yeah, it's a little bit more complex. The Play verse 2 again! Oh, God. Alright. Listen once again. You can sound, you can see it sounds more simplistic. There. Did you hear that? They feel the same, true. But they're clearly very, very different. What? Well put, Your Honor. The phrase, the phrase in verse 2 is quite simple. The same phrase in verse 1 was high and has high and low notes. You'd have to use two hands to play that for sure. Ah! Uh, uh, what's that prove? I would think you'd know that by now. This is why I hate dealing with amateurs, man! So the two verses had different arrangements. Happens all the time! Not this time, Darion. There's no point in changing an arrangement if you can't hear it clearly. And that wasn't a point. I had him play specifically so the piano would stay in that background. Oh! God! So that that was what I noticed. Why should the same phrase sound slightly different? I asked myself. Now ask yourselves why Maki changed how he played. And there's only one answer. He needed a free hand in order to press the switch. Oh, oh God, here we go. Order! 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 I believe this ties all the facts together. Why, Prosecutor Gavin? Yes, quite. Though, personally, this comes as a terrible disappointment. <laughs> what? No comeback? I can't believe it. I finally did it! I shut him up! Very well. Barring an injection from the prosecution, I will now state the court's opinion on this matter. <laughs> oh, good show, Sleeves. Oh, no, no. Great show. It's not over? I don't like it when he looks so... so happy. You tell him, Gavin. Tell him what's so disappointing. Personally, I'm terribly dis disappointed in you. Air forehead. Huh? Me? Yes. And don't get me wrong, your case is solid. The facts all check out, but even now? You have yet to show us a single piece of decisive evidence. Yeah, but the facts. Anyone can see it was him! Fortunately, anyone does not include the law. I'm afraid your case doesn't cut it. But. But! A thousand facts might point towards the same conclusion, but without decisive evidence, it's not proof. That's the rule under our current legal system. I don't believe it! It does not seem as though the defense has yet has any more evidence to present. Oh, I think if he did, we already would have seen it a long ways back. It is unfortunate, but at present, this court is unable to acknowledge your accusation. What? What?! 
I did all that for nothing then? The truth is staring us all right in the face. Why can't they see it? What's the point of a legal system that protects criminals? Apollo, remember what Daddy said? Well, we, we can't do it by conventional means? Oh. He said that. Huh. Under the current? Wait a minute, so... What... I don't get this, then. I wonder what he meant by every man's igniter. I think he just meant a weak spot, no? The kind of thing that a single spark could turn into a wildfire of emotion. I won't be able to press him further by conventional means. I gotta find a weak spot in the sky. Something fatal. So, can I get back to work now or what? It may look like I got a lot of time on my hands, but I got no more time to play pretend with this dead white attorney. Hmm. Well, Mr. Justice, we've come this far without decisive evidence. This witness won't be coming back to the stand once we let him go. Every man has an igniter. Huh? Didn't you say the better the, the guitar, the brighter it burns, Prosecutor Gavin? Ah, yes. Good guitars are kept dry is why. That provides the best sound. Even a small spark could cause irrep irreparable damage. Your plan has an igniter in it too, Detective. It was there from the very beginning. What? Fighting time, Justice. If you blow this one, he'll be out of your hands for good. Go for it, Apollo! What? And this igniter is supposed to come burn me up? That's almost po poetic there, Mr. Attorney! All the better. I'm rather fond of poetry. I intend to hear this one through to the very end. Air Forehead, you are accusing this man, Darian Crescent, of two crimes. The murder of Mr. Latus and the smuggling of a Virginia cocoon. This is your last chance to prove your case. This trial has already run on for t far too long, so all has this video. Mr. Justice, you will be, this will be your, my last warning. The moment this igniter of yours turns out to be a dud, is the moment this cross-examination ends. Understood? Yes, Your Honor. Then let's have it. Show us the basis for these accusations against Darion Crescent. Okay, this is really my last chance. The key will take apart... The key will take apart Darion's Crescent planned is... <sighs> We'll find out next time! So, as usual, thank you, all, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for Let's Play Apollo Justice, Ace Attorney. I'll see you guys later!